Okay, guys, hi, how you doing? So, welcome to Module 2. All right, Module 1, we talked about the Industrial Revolution, and we talked specifically about some of the reactions to the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution was a very, very visually ugly time. Um, from the cities to the, the dwellings to apartment buildings to factories and it, it was a it was a it was a bad time for visual aesthetics um there were a number of individuals worldwide who countered this lack of aesthetic value by starting these movements that were to in reaction of the industrial revolution especially its ugliness now we if you've been wondering why we study a lot of design history classes start with the Re industrial revolution and the reason why is because of this this reaction to this this societal phenomenon in this industrial revolution this worldwide reaction um now it's and it's important to know that some of these reactions started happening in different parts of the world simultaneously so it was almost like this worldwide reaction to this nasty ugly visual posture started that started in the industrial revolution as a, as a, as a direct result of machine uh, a mechanization of machinery of industry so we learned about last week week one we learned about arts and crafts and we learned about its relationship to and it's it, arts and crafts as a response to the industrial revolution this week we're going to look at art nouveau as again a, a reaction to the industrial revolution so th that's where we tie things together. Now, as far as this week goes, we're going to look at a couple of different areas of, of Art Nouveau. We're going to look at Scottish, Austrian, German, and, and English, um, British Art, Art Nouveau, and American as well. And the, what I want you guys to do is, uh, let's, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's jump over to... Let's jump over to the discussion board. Let's start with the discussion board. I want, I want to take a look at this because it's important. So first thing you're going to do now, we talked about these different types of Art Nouveau. We talked about French. Now, Fr French, France is where Art Nouveau started. So we're going to start there. What you're going to do in your discussion board, you're going to select a work of art or design um, from the French Art Nouveau movement. You're going to describe its formal qualities, just like we did last week. Formal qualities meaning its form, how, uh, the way it's painted, the way it's uh, produced uh, or reproduced. Um, the formal qualities, and then try to attach meaning to it, just like we did in week one, right? Um, it, now, this is why I wanted to bring up uh, a week one. I, I did just want to do that because I know that, you know, you all can figure that part out easily, right? This is, how, this is what we do. We talk about uh, French Art Nouveau describing its formal qualities as much detail as possible, explaining how those qualities convey meaning. All right, then we're going to switch it up a little bit, and we're in our response posts. And usually, your response response posts aren't as geared um, as 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 heavily as this one, as far as um, uh, gearing this towards a a a, uh, a, a, a kind of a, a, a template for your answer. So in this, we have this template for your answer, for your responses, in that what you're going to do is select art or design from either Scottish Art Nouveau, Vienna Secession, or Younger Still, which is German Art Nouveau. What you're going to do is you're going to take that piece and you're going to compare it to your peers' uh, posts on French Art Nouveau. Okay, so in your initial post, you're going to, part, you're going to post French Art Nouveau. In your response post, you're going to give examples of um, Scottish Art Nouveau, uh, uh, secessionist, um, Vienna secession, Viennese, Austrian Art Nouveau, or Jungestil, which is German Art Nouveau. Now, keep in mind, these are only three uh, movements of, in different countries. Now, as, as you know, different countries have different names for the same thing. Okay, so, um, okay, so that will take care of the discussion board. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a look at... Um, Back to the lecture here, or the module overview. Um, okay, now this is really, really, really important, guys. This, these, the, the, the textbook, you, just, you have to read the textbook. There's just no way around it. Um, the videos, Modernism, uh, uh, the Wiener Werkstatt, which is actually the beginning workshop, the, the Vienna workshop for, where did it go? Here's the, the little video for that, Modernism, Wiener Werkstatt, which is, the workshop, the Vienna workshop, which is where Viennese 
Art Nouveau started. So Vienna, Austria. So this is an offshoot of French Art Nouveau. Okay. Um, and then, then another thing in our resources is this right here. This is Defining Art Nouveau. And this is a really great article. I highly recommend um, using this in conjunction with your reading, your, your required textbook reading, especially this. I thought this was written really well, Art Nouveau and Symbolism. So that's really, really good. Actually, the whole article is fantastic. So I highly recommend reading that. And then finally, I really think it's very, very important for you to, to – uh, <clears throat> establish a relationship between Art Nouveau and, and Japanism. Um, Japanism is a, it's an influence of the Japanese aesthetic on Western design. Again, it's called Japanism. And, and there's an article here, right here. I linked out to it. It's right here. Um, and basically, this is going to give you a really nice background on the relationship between Japanism and the aesthetic of Art Nouveau. Um, now, keep in mind, now, the aesthetic of Art Nouveau is common throughout the, the, the genre. So keep that in mind. And an origin of that aesthetic was the uh, Yukio um, Japanism. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, um, textbook. Textbook's fantastic, guys. <laughs> it's, it's a great book. I'm a big fan of Meg's, of the Meg's text, but this one is, is, is very, very, very good. Okay, so that's what I have on um, discussion. <clears throat> um, that's all you have this week, guys. You have just a lot of research and reading, and then you have the discussion. So I'm going to be looking for a pretty ample discussion here, and, and as well as those response posts, okay? So hopefully this little video gave you a little bit of an insight as to where we're at, where we're going. Kind of a roadmap type thing. Hope it helped. Let me know. It usually does. I think students are pretty pretty good about accepting videos. If you're the type who doesn't like video, then, then I, you know, I usually use a written backup in the um, announcement. So there's nothing in the videos that's not really in the announcements and the reading. Okay, so keep that in mind. Awesome job, guys. I will see you in discussion board. Thank you.